Hey everyone, welcome back. Kelly here. This month's activity is a painting discipline called Point It Out. We're going to be studying the painting style of pointillism. Now remember, your Kelly kit can be used in one of three ways. Art play, educational enrichment, or our new feature, Masterpiece Challenge. Now if your children are younger, two and up, two to five, art play is the perfect choice for you. Children at this age need free exploration of the tools, materials, and art techniques without the pressure of creating something beautiful and perfect. Also, enrich our enrichment ideas are perfect for younger children and older children alike. Art materials can be used to teach a variety of subjects such as history, math, language arts, and science. So every Kelly kit will include an educational enrichment idea. And our third feature is our we're debuting this month is the Masterpiece Challenge, where we're actually going to give step instructions for the kids to complete a masterpiece all of their own. So let's not delay any further. Let's get the kids in and get started. All right, well, I'm here with my two favorite artists again, Aslan and Rhapsody. Say hi. Hi. And today we're going to be doing the Kelly kit called Point It Out. And um, I want to tell you about a very famous artist named George Seurat. I have a picture of one of his most famous paintings for you guys to look at. Check this out. Do you know that this entire painting is made up of teeny tiny dots of paint? Yeah. Yeah, lots and lots of dots. This man, George Seurat, he was from France and he lived in the late 1800s. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him while we're looking at this. George Seurat lived in Paris, France, and he was known for his pointillism style of painting. Can you say pointillism? Pointillism. Pointillism, that's right. That means lots and lots of little dots. And he was born in Paris, France. He lived from 1859. And one of his greatest works, this picture that we're looking at right now, is called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jacques and it took him almost two years to complete this painting. And he even had a, a famous quote, some say they see poetry in my paintings, I see only science. So he thought this was really cool that you could blend, uh, you could make these little dots of paint and they would blend in the eye, um, not on the canvas. All right, so do you guys wanna start your masterpiece challenge? Yes. Okay. Well, this is what we're going to be making today. This is a still life apple. I thought since we are going back to school this month, you would be able to create a beautiful little apple for your teachers, since teachers love apples. Do you wanna try and make this? Yeah. yeah. All right, okay, well here's where we're gonna start. We have a couple of uh, stippling tools in your Kelly kit this time. We have Q-tips and we also have a paintbrush. Now you can use the bristle side of the paintbrush or you can use this side of the paintbrush too. If you didn't know that at home, your paintbrush actually is two tools in one. This is a, a wonderful side of the paintbrush to use also. It makes really teeny tiny dots. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is we need to draw a basic apple shape, okay? Wonderful, I love that. Okay, now apples are always nice and shiny, so we're gonna leave a little section white on our apple, but the first color we're gonna start with is yellow, okay? So you can follow my instructions right here. We're gonna open up the yellow here. I'm gonna put it right here between you and Aslan and just get a little bit of yellow paint Mm -hmm. Here, Aslan, you want to dip a little bit of yellow paint on your Q-tip? And first thing, we're going to make a little bit of yellow right up here at the top. And then we're going to put some yellow dots on the side. Now what color do you think comes next after you do all of that yellow? Red. Red, that's right. Now you're going to do more, more red dots than you will any other color, okay? And 
remember to fill all the white spaces in except for that one little circle that you that we left out. And the areas that we had put our yellow dots, we're now starting to see little bits of an orange kind of color coming through. Get a new Q-tip and we're gonna actually use a little tiny bit of blue, okay? And we're gonna put our shadow on this side of our apple right over here, okay? Just little tiny dots. Not a whole lot of them, just a few. We're gonna take our red and we're gonna kinda make a little stem right, right in the middle of our little yellow spot at the top. Our stem is gonna come out just a little bit like that. So it almost looks like a seven. <laughs> See how I made like a seven right there? Do you know that red and green are opposite colors on the color wheel? And when you mix opposite colors on the color wheel, you get brown. Did you know that? <laughs> red and green yeah. make brown. I know. I didn't know that. So take a little tiny green and go right, right next to your one. red. I need another one. You need another Q-tip? Mm -hmm. Are you using your finger now to stipple? Yeah. You know fingers make good stippling tools too. See how I'm making a little shadow right here? Ooh. You can make a little shadow too. I love it, Aslan. Have you guys had fun? Yeah. Well, we've had fun making our still life apples, exploring this art style of pointillism. The kids are proudly showing off their artwork now and they're ready for some art play. They've got some ideas that they want to explore. So for more detailed instructions on how to make this still life apple, please visit www.kellykits.com. We love Kelly Kits.